Hey everyone, so uh, today we're doing something a little bit different than um, you, what we usually do on the channel. Uh, what we usually do, of course, is uh, streams, sometimes clips, um, of videos, stuff like that. Uh, barely trip reports. I barely do unboxings, but uh, this is a special unboxing today um, because I thought this, I mean, it's a Hancom Brawl Thrall. Um, I would like to unbox this and show you guys. It's gonna be my. I haven't opened it at all, um, um, so it's gonna be basically my first impression. And then we are going to hop into the simulator and check it out in there. Um, so yeah, we are unboxing the Bravo Throttle Quadrant from Honeycomb. Um, I got it price range around two hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, at a pilot shop here, I think it's called Banyan Pilot Shop, uh, 250 I believe in the website and on Amazon it's a little bit higher, website I think it's 280 um, but yeah, there it was a little bit uh, cheaper um, at Banyan, but uh, yeah, let's unbox this, pretty nice box, really big box also. Um, it does have a covering around it here, it says Bravo Thrower Quadrant. You got its um, Windows and Mac uh, compatible uh, honeycomb. You got their logo here and then here it says commercial airline or some logos here. And uh, if we flip it around, again, again the logo, it just shows the actual name there. Um, so that is pretty, pretty cool. And I believe on the bottom, I don't think there's anything. Uh, let me just check. No, it's just the same old logo. Uh, but here, at the back, uh, we got um, Bravo Throw Quadrant Honeycomb Aeronautical. Um, it shows you everything that it has, different languages, of course. So what it has, multi-engine, it has a gear lever, it has a flap lever, how you actually, um, what's gonna connect it to the desk, uh, more logos here, um, maybe these are the sponsors, I, I don't know, or maybe these help them build it. Uh, here you got Aerosoft, and then, yeah, it's been... Uh, just if you flip it, you got a uh, Honeycomb Aeronautical, Bravo Thrower Quadrant, and again the logo so it shows that this is the uh, throttle um, so we're gonna open it from here and then let's check it out so I've actually never seen it in person I've just seen pictures and videos of it and uh, this is the time I'm gonna see it in person oh interesting all right so it looks like we have uh, commercial and we have general aviation I believe these are the levers I'm gonna take them out and see how they are and then okay so um, let's get this out of the way so we you guys can see so this is the commercial um, commercial levers basically beautiful box here it does have a magnet as you can see um, just move it around a bit, you know, just it says commercial and we're gonna open it up now. I believe their logo is in the front. So it basically has a magnet, opens it up and wow, that is actually, that is beautiful. I thought they were gonna be smaller. They're actually good size though. Either way, I know there is some people that say it's a little bit too small. For me, I mean, the let's check out the speed the speed brake. The speed brake is a little small. So I'm, I'm gonna admit to that. The speed brake is a little small, um, so there you go. Uh, basically, this is my hand, and that's the speed brake. So it's a little small, but to be honest, I would really care less about that more. Um, it's the experience, really. Um, but the levers, the levers are amazing. So I did hear that if you grab three and number one, you flip it around, and it will become number two. Uh, if you can see right there, and then it's three. So when you're flying a 747 or, uh, yeah, if you're flying a 747 um, or any four engine aircraft, 
uh, you use all four, and then if you want to use two, uh, you use one and three, and then you rotate in uh, 180 degree, and it will turn to two. And there you go. You don't grab the two because that will make no sense because, look, you're not flying like that. You're flying like this. So, yeah, it is pretty cool. Looks like there's actual toga button here, so... Um, They'll grab it and then press the toga button. And I believe these have springs. So there you go. That is that is smooth right there. And then you take them out. That is absolutely nice. That is so nice. Um, really, really impressive from Honeycomb. So we're gonna take that out. We're gonna put that back in there. Uh, let's check out the flap lever. Again, small thing. You don't like necessarily do anything. Uh, the flap lever, you just drop it down. Um, which one you want it's it's pretty basic here nothing um no buttons no nothing but this still is really nice add-on to add the speed brake and the flaps um so that can help out with the experience we'll close that and we'll bring in the general aviation so general aviation a little bit smaller box um not so big we still have the logo right here um uh, so it says general aviation we're gonna open it back here and uh, damn, those are sleek looking. All right, so I believe these are the throttles right here. A little smaller than the last ones, but it's, uh, it's GA, so. So here you go. So basically, you're gonna grab it from here. Uh, you got go around switch. So basically, if you're a boarding takeoff, go around and then they'll put full throttle. And there you go, really, really nice. They added that. I thought actually this was a sticker that you have to put, but they actually implemented it. That is, that is amazing. Um, okay, so let me. So these are the feather. Um, basic feathers, nothing too crazy. Uh, very nice that they added both the feather and the mixture for two engines. So this, uh, this you can use for, definitely for turbo props. Um, for example, we're flying the Q400X plane. Definitely, I'm going to use this for uh, the Q400 to fly it, the Q400 in uh, X plane 11. So, we're going to put that back in there. Then it's the other way around. And uh, here are the mixtures. Basic thing. Pretty, pretty cool. Look at that. Damn, that, is, that is really nice. I believe they actually go the other way. So, basically, when you're... Let me see the throttles. Basically, when you're grabbing the throttles, I believe they go. They go that way. So it's like that. When you put them on, it's going to be like that instead of putting them on like this. I got to see how you actually put them on onto the throttle. Um, but what we have all been waiting for that to look again. So we got the box. Amazing, obviously. Um, let me just, all right, so now to open the, um, honeycomb throw, the actual thing. So I believe you take out this foam. Ooh, wow, that is big. That is big. That is amazing. Let's take it out. So I believe that's okay. Ooh, it's, it's, well, it's kind of heavy. I'd say, kind of heavy. Let me just put it down real quick. Um, so we're gonna see what else is in the box. I believe this is just all foam. Really nice packaging, I gotta say. Uh, congrats to Honeycomb for doing this amazing packaging, like to be honest. Uh, okay, so you take this out. We got some manuals here. I gotta read this uh, because I actually, I believe they said you have to uh, download the drivers and, uh, but maybe it's plug and play. You just download the drivers and you basically plug in and that's it. You don't have to do anything else. Um, but we got to see when we get into the sim. Uh, you got partner offers. Uh, maybe these are offers about partners. X-11, obviously all your stuff. You got Honeycomb, 20% discount. I believe, ooh, wait, you get 20% discount from x -Plane. But yeah, so uh, those are some manuals uh, you can read, obviously, when you get it. Uh, the world of flight simulation. Uh, you got the CRJ 500, uh, 550 and 700 uh, from Microsoft Flight Simulator right there. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And then it's the manual itself. But we're here for the throttle. 
Uh, okay, so, uh, I believe this is where the tricky part is. I'll put this on my desk. I do have an extra desk, which is the one that I'm actually having right now, so I might just uh, put it there. But this is the... Uh, this is the plate. I believe this actually, you put it on your desk, you clamp it, and then you actually put the real honeycomb throttle up, up here. You just You don't just put the honeycomb throttle and not the plate. Um, so this is pretty cool, I believe this is, uh, I don't know if you have to take this out, but uh, very smooth, very sturdy. This is made uh, not by plastic, I, I don't really know, I know this is metal, uh, but this is like, I don't know if it's wood, it feels like very hard material, so maybe it's wood, I, I, to be honest, I don't know, I don't think it's steel, maybe it's steel, maybe, you, you gotta see, I gotta, I gotta find that out. But, uh, ooh, and then I believe these come out somehow. Uh, it's something with connecting it. So, uh, we're gonna be done with that. Let's see what else is under, I believe. You got the clamps here. Uh, so these are the clamps. Uh, let me take these out. Ooh, these are heavy. Okay, so one thing I've noticed about uh, Honeycomb Thrall is that their um, materials that they use here, not plastic at all. This is fully, fully, fully like good, like materials um i do understand that the uh logitech is a little plasticky but this is like this is fully fully steel and wood and um it's it's just amazing uh very good product that they have but um so this is both clamps i believe you clamp them both to the desk with the plate that i just showed you uh, so we're gonna put those clamps down and then we're going to see so uh, here's a cord again this is the USB cord basically you connect it just to the computer I gotta see if it's plug and play uh, when I connect to the sim we are going to have of course uh, by the end of the video a view of uh, checking out in the sim so uh, make sure to stay tuned for that I believe that's it for the phone I don't know if we have anything else no I hope so no, I don't believe we have anything else. We'll take that out of the way. And now it's time for what we have been waiting for. Uh, we're gonna take up the throttle here. So, throttle's pretty big. Let the camera focus here. There we go, focus. So, um, it's decently big. Um, I, I gotta credit to Honeycomb for actually making it. Um, big enough that it's not like super duper small just correct um correct size so let's take that out it's not that heavy but um let's take that out of the way and then we'll put it up here i believe we take it out so something Ooh, that is beautiful right there. Something's clamping here. Hmm. Oh, it's because, okay, so this has a trim wheel, that's why. So that's why it's doing this. But when you actually put it on the desk, it's not the way to do that, by the way. So. Uh, this is it. This is the Honeycomb throttle. It's absolutely beautiful. You got the clamps, you got the throttle levers, and basically I believe these are stuff that keep out the dust. So you can leave them on if you're not using them. So, uh, these are the flaps. Uh, very smooth actually. Very, very smooth. I gotta admit it. We'll give you guys a front view right here. So there you go. Um, you got all the levers, I believe is one. Uh, six slots where you can pull all the levers. You got the trim, trim wheel right here. Beautiful trim wheel. Very, very structured, very well. You got the gear lever, which I didn't actually notice when I got this. Um, it had an actual gear lever. You got the flaps, very smooth. You got the autopilot annunciator panel. And then you got the, you can, um, 
You can do whatever uh, with these switches, lights, parking brake, um, I turn on the engine, I really don't know, um, but it's up to your choice. Super smooth, by the way, super smooth. And then all these lights down here, they light up when you download the, uh, I believe it's the drivers. If you download them for X-Plane, if you're using X-Plane or Microsoft Flight Simulator, they will light up if it's on the plane. So if you have a master warning or master caution in your plane, it's gonna light up red. Um, all of those, engine fire, vacuum, low hydraulic pressure, low oil pressure. So that's pretty cool. You can instead, not well, you can look down while you're doing stuff and you see it turn on. That means you have to fix it or it's something's, you know, turning on. Um, APU's turning on, it has APU, I guess that will turn on when, or it will turn off. Depends when we get on the sim, um, if the APU's on or off, but uh, really, really cool, I have to say, extremely cool. Um, so, let's go through it, this is the gear lever. Not bad, not bad, that is, that is smooth right there, I believe the lights turn on. When you go down, it's gonna turn off. When you go up, it's gonna turn red. And then, I believe it will turn back off. Beautiful right there. That is smooth. Um, let me lift it up a little. That's also very smooth. I believe you can uh, change the tension of everything here uh, with this little thing. I believe you just have to twist it. Um, but the trim wheel, Man, the trim wheel is really nice. Nose down and then nose up. And then you see where you're going, which is super cool. Uh, you got the autopilot initiator. You can change it, altitude, vertical speed, heading, um, course, and IAS. Everything's in there. Of course, you got a bunch of buttons here, which you can put heading, nav, approach, Altitude, vertical speed, a bunch of other stuff. Very, very nice. Oh, uh, we're actually done. Um, so, I was actually doing a little bit the wrong way. Uh, you were supposed to pull them out, not from here. Um, so that's why the final ones I actually did a little bit faster. Let's get these out of the way. Uh, okay, so, basically we're gonna grab at least the commercial ones because I know everyone wants to see the commercial ones and we'll grab the GA at last. So open the commercial ones, let's put that over here. So it does have, I believe you can um, definitely adjust the tension with these from here. You just twist it. Um, these are flaps down. The tension is really hard right here right now. So basically if you want to flap one, two, five, 10, 15, 25, 30, and 40, and then four, and then flaps full. Um, flaps down full, you just go flaps down. And basically, uh, this is for Boeing, this is for Airbus, because you got a zero, one, two, and three. Um, that's pretty cool. The tension on this one is good, but I do feel like I should change the tension because the tension is a little bit hard. Um, so here, um, so all of them will have the compatibility uh, you see these little um, silver things here, these little gold things. Um, they will connect to these levers. And as soon as they connect, I believe, I don't know if you guys can see down there in the bottom, there's like a little connection for this. And we'll see which levers are you're using. Um, so let's say I'm using number four here. Let's plop down number four. It will use, it will, you know, it will describe this as, well, this is level lever four um, for the honeycomb. And if you pop, plop down, let's say the mixture, it's gonna say, oh, this is the mixture uh, for the honeycomb. So it's, you know, very compatible with everything, uh, but definitely I believe you do that. And then I believe you go back up and then I gotta, I gotta actually realize it has a detent, go down, and then you take the thralls out. Uh, definitely I gotta fix the tension because it's a little bit too tense. Uh, but yeah, you can put the flaps in, 
get the flaps, you can put the speed brake. Uh, we'll put the speed brake all the way up here. And then we'll actually do a four engine. So we'll put that here, that here, and that right here. So basically that's a four engine. I gotta twist it a little so you guys can actually see number, this is number three. Number three, and then it's gonna be number four. And then drop it, there you go. Open the reversers, you can, you missed one. And then you pull them back up, and you take out the reversers. Beautiful, beautifully made, uh, very smooth actually. I just gotta change the, um, I gotta really change the tension on this. So we're gonna go grab the GA ones and we're gonna check them out. All right guys, we're back. Um, here we are with the general aviation. We're gonna test out the general aviation now. So I believe this you won't use. So you can pull up a, you can bring in a cover and you can cover it up. So I believe you can just do it all the way down and then just put the cover in. I actually think you have to detent it all the way down. And then there you go. And then you plop it in and there you don't have to use it because we're only going to be using these two, which the... So yeah, um, you can change it up. We'll take it out, put it on the next one, and then grab the feather, put the feather in. Uh, I believe, let's just see how this actually does. I don't know how it actually does it. Maybe it's this way. All right, so we put this one like this as such. Let me just plug it there. And then we'll put the mixture in. Make sure it's gonna be normal. Obviously you can just use it for one engine. So basically what you use is you use, maybe you want the go around one, obviously. I'm gonna put this one here. The feather stay in just one in the same uh, spot. And then another one. Oh, uh, would be cool. You have a lot, a lot. Uh, you can do so much with these throttles. Uh, you can customize it so much, definitely. Um, so we're gonna grab basically the mixture now. I believe it's this way, and there you go. You got the mixture, you got the throttles. This is absolutely amazing. The tension is very, very nice. And then, and yeah, you can do so much with these throttles. They're really, really nice. So, um, overall, did not have a bad experience. I do have to, so uh, that's pretty cool. We're gonna put that back there. We're going to test this into the simulator now, and we're gonna see how it does. We'll try uh, with, I believe the 737, with the commercial ones. Uh, so we'll try that out. I'll see you um, in the sim. All right, guys. Um, we're here. I set it up. Everything. Uh, it took me a while, probably around three hours, um, to set basically everything up due to I didn't have space, so I had to improvise a little. Had to download the driver, set it up. It was pretty difficult setting it up, but finally I got it working. Uh, yeah, so it's here. Um, we got the uh, Logitech radio panel that I got probably in July. Uh, yeah, I got it in July. Uh, Logitech radio panel really helps you out. I have XP Realistic and you know moving through the cockpit with your mouse does not help um, putting in radios on a very busy frequency. Um, so I had to get it and I got it so that it's on top of the um, throttle. And here's the throttle itself. You got the pedals down there. Of course, we got the um, Logitech yoke. Um, this Logitech yoke, of course, came with a throttle, but uh, the yoke is still amazing. But I just um, so here's the throttles. Uh, I did hear that some people don't like the size of uh, these throttles, but I find them perfect actually. When I uh, put them in and everything, you know. 
it's actually perfect for my hand. To be honest, I don't, I don't really, um, there it opens the reversers. We're actually in LAX right now with the 737. We're gonna hop in there in a minute. Um, but they're perfect actually for my hand. I know some people maybe it's too small or too big, I don't know. But uh, for me, it's just perfect. Uh, we do have the flap lever here. Now, I believe people said there is no detents uh, on this flap lever, sadly. Um, but it is really smooth. So basically you want number one, you put it on number one, number two, and it will grab it. Um, no problems with this. Here's Airbus and uh, here is Boeing. But uh, to be honest, if you want a little bit more realism, you can buy the thing that uh, attaches here. I think it's from another company. Attaches here and you have the, uh, you pick it up and then you put it on the actual one. Um, but to be honest, for me, this is really good. Um, definitely from upgrading from a really small throttle to this uh, very immersive, very uh, high-tech uh, throttle with everything that it has. Uh, we do have some flap lovers here. This is really for GA. Uh, we do have the autopilot panel here. Um, it was kind of hard uh, setting this autopilot uh, panel up. Um, this isn't a plug-and-play um, throttle or equipment you plug it in and you have to do a little bit of uh, you know going around and setting this whole entire thing up with all the buttons and everything uh, to get it working um, but yeah we got the autopilot panel right now uh, you can actually put it here uh, I don't know if you guys can see it but so yeah, we got altitude, uh, vertical speed, heading, course, and IAS, and we got all the buttons here, heading, nav, approach, uh, rev, altitude, vertical speed, and IAS. Uh, we do have our gear button. Now, I believe I'm gonna show you guys here uh, our gear lever. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys this when we get into the cockpit, when we take off, um, because when it goes up, it does turn red, and then it turns off and when you uh, go down, of course, it will stay green because all of them are down, uh, all three. And uh, basically, so right here, you can put a uh, all the four engines actually. So if you see a little bit beginning of the video where we reviewed the levers, um, you could put each, uh, all four here. Uh, we're running two today, of course, because we're in the 737. Um, but uh, that is good to go. That is everything in this um, throttle for now. Of course, you can uh, change the tension on uh, the throttle with this little thing. You just turn it and it will change the tension. Right now, we have it at the lowest one. Um, but uh, yeah, we're going to get into the sim and we're going to check it out. We're finally in the sim, so we're going to be checking out uh, levers and everything and how everything works in the sim. Um, so first of all, let's set our flaps. Um, so our flaps is going to be number five, so we'll go one, two, five. There we go. Really smooth. Very nice. Um, the speed brake is also fairly nice to just open them. You go all the way down, and then to close them, you go all the way up. There you go. Uh, not not too shabby. Uh, of course, we do have the levers connected, of course, and the reversers that are all set up. Um, of course, it was kind of difficult setting up this. Um, as I said on the last clip, it was pretty difficult setting up the autopilot, but it does work. And uh, there you got the basically the altitude working. If we put it on a heading, Got the heading working, so uh, that is pretty neat. Of course, we got um, the gear lever, um, so that's gonna be pretty cool. And we do have a we do have a trim wheel that uh, mostly is for GA, but you can use it, of course, in the 73 very easily, also. Uh, but no more talking. Let's actually take off. So I think we're good to go. We'll put this on RTO and uh, let's pull them up. So let's go. Uh, let's pull them up a little. Take that parking brake off and. Go 9%. Mind the takeoff config. Alright, takeoff thrust is set. Gear speed's alive. 80 knots. 80 knots, cross check. B1. Pause the brake. Pause the brake. Gear's coming up. That's the 
departure. Now we're going to look at the. Now we're going to look at the approach. All right, guys, we're on approach now. Livers are absolutely smooth, really. You can change the tension, but they're so smooth. They are beautifully made, beautifully um, working, to be honest. Uh, no problems with them at all. Um, setting it up is a little bit hard, uh, but no problem with it. Uh, everything's really good. If you'd like to pick it up, I'll put the link in the description. Um, when I post this video, I'm going to put the link in the description to show if you want to pick them up. Uh, of course, they do come with GA uh, throttle throttle levers so keep in mind that I am using a 737 configuration right now but you can do 747 it comes with all four throttles or you can do the GA throttles that comes with single engine or uh, turbo um, but guys thank you so much for watching today I really appreciate everyone joining us on this beautiful uh, unboxing and review um, definitely definitely a very very good product from honeycomb as uh, is their uh, yoke but guys thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next one. See ya.